Okay, so I'm about to start a new study and I have already collected my data in my research files folder which is in my favorites so I can find it easily and I'm going to be working with these source files and uh, uh, study in hyper research but I wanted to show you first that I have things everywhere I've gone through here and I've made sure that the um, documents are all easy to read have the information on them that I need um, with these I included the date in the name and again I know where everything is I can find it easily and now I'm ready to begin work in hyper research so I launch hyper research I'm going to create a new hyper research study if I had been working with other studies recently they would be listed here and with quick links to open them in hyper research we also have information here on hyper research help and also links to our tutorials and other online resources but here I go I create a new study now to jump start this study I'm going to uh, do a couple of things that get data into it quickly um, when you start a study you have an untitled study window the study window is what keeps track of your cases uh, which I'll talk about in a moment and also any codes that have been applied to date on the currently shown case it also includes uh, information about uh, whether you want to view sources or annotations and it gives you access to filtering cases and codes um, when you want to look at subsets of your information so uh, currently I don't have any cases except the untitled one and I'm not going to worry about that for now I haven't quite decided how to organize, uh, organize my data yet I'm going to do some um, uh, exploration uh, using hyper research to help me make decisions like that so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add source material because without source material I don't have a very good study so I'm going to add new sources from folder uh, again my folders my files are in the my research files it happens to be this information that I'm looking for and to make it easy for a beginner I'm for beginning my study I am going to focus on the recall um, on the chicken jerky recall source material that I collected from the veterinary information network news service so I choose this folder and hyper research adds all of the source files in that folder into the sources list this now gives me quick access to be able to open source files in my study so now I can review it by reading it here I can select information and I can add codes I'm going to close the sources list so it's not cluttering my desktop and here in the code book I don't have any codes yet um, that's okay I can create codes as I go along if I had um, prepared a list of codes I could have entered that earlier and then they'd all be here um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how you do a new code and something you should know when you are creating codes and applying them is that what you are going to be doing is taking a selection of source material from the sources window and you are going to be linking it via a code name to a particular case a case is a unit of study um, I, and uh, I'll, I'll talk about that a bit later but it's going to be uh, represent different things depending on what the focus of your research is and the methodology you're using if you're using um, if you're doing a longitudinal study each case may represent a time period um, and if you're doing uh, case studies each case obviously would represent a particular case or respondent and so on, so on and so forth but it's important to realize that you need to be at 
the current case and you need to have source material selected and you need to have a code and I'm going to actually add sweet potato products as the code here and now with a case here selected material here a selected code here I can apply the code and then I can continue on um, about uh, here and here it's uh, talking about a particular brand I'm going to use a command N on a Mac or a control N on Windows to bring up the new code dialog instead of pulling it down from the edit code and I'm going to include wagon train and I'm also going to do a new code Milo's kitchen and so here I'm going to choose Milo's kitchen and wagon tr train because they're both mentioned here and I may need that information again and I apply the code so when you've got several codes here it's easy for you to recall the information and if the source file isn't open when you click on a code in the case Hyper Research will open the source file um, with that uh, the linked seg segment, the linked selection highlighted. But I was talking about how to jumpstart your study so I'm going to show you something else you can do and that is take a word counter tool and take a gander at what information is in your source files uh, especially the text, this is uh, text only source files, uh, Word documents, um, rich text format uh, documents, etc. So I'm actually going to exclude the veterinary, veterinary information news network um, reprint policy from the word counter because I don't really need that information. It's not part of the study, it's just to remind me what I need to do to make sure I can use those that information legally and so we have a list view here where it talks about uh, it shows how many times the word pet has appeared in these source files and uh, things like that so I'm gonna go to the cloud view and look here and we know that pet is actually going to come up a lot um, because it's a pet food study that I'm doing, a pet food recall study. Um, I'm going to keep dogs in there, but I uh, am going to look so uh, things like um, often used information, often used um, words that you might not need you can just um, exclude from the word counter as I'm doing here and you can also look at things like this now you can see that even with more information in here jerky treats and FDA we can exclude food because we know it's pet food that I'm cooking at. We can exclude that. Um, and Chinese uh, and China happen quite a bit. Uh, we can actually exclude VIN because I know I'm working with the information from the Veterinary Information Network. And uh, so here now I'm getting some ideas about the most commonly used words including jerky treats, chicken, China and that can give me an idea about well what do I want to be coding and what do I want to be looking at well let's focus on the FDA so we can um, search text sources and look for all of those FDA material and we can see a little bit about here um, 
the investigation expands beyond chicken derby rise in complaints about duck so that's this gives me information about where that keyword is being used and um, that helps me figure out where I need to focus my attention and another way to actually jumpstart your study is to do some autocoding so right now I have one file that I've had open and I've got attached to this file so let's go ahead and um, it's on the untitled case let's go ahead and do a little bit of autocoding so I'm interested in the China connection so I'm going to look for the phrase China and I'm going to say I want to see the whole paragraph and the phrases I'm looking for is China so now under codes I need to add a code none of these are really what I'm looking for so for autocoding I always start the code name with AC for autocoding and then I include some information as usually the keyword I'm, I'm working on or some information about what it was I'm looking for if I'm using more than one keyword and so China and I go ahead and select that and now I have an autocode where I have a source that is in the one case I've got I have a phrase and I know what I want to apply so I'm going to autocode that and this adds nine references to my study specifically from this source file into this case and here we can see in the codes in context where um, the uh, China keyword appears this is the sweet potato products one that I had manually coded here's another auto coded thing so auto coding allows you to um, there's two versions of China in here which is why there are two codes created um, auto coding allows you to quickly mark passages for further review so now that I know this is about um, uh, China I might want to add something to this for example sweet potato products so now we have autocode China and sweet potato connected so you can see that the autocoding can be used to jumpstart your study to find um, to, to call out and highlight and code with your auto automatically um, applied code information that allows you to quickly go there and then review that and determine what the actual coding should be um, so uh, those are quick and easy ways to jumpstart your study and I hope they help